Community activist groups are paying close attention to how this case will play out. They say this homicide charge is only the beginning and that the district attorney's evidence presented should be enough to convict Officer Delkey. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall spoke with the Community Oversight Now member and Brandon, she says she's actually surprised Officer Delkey was even charged with homicide. Rory, she's surprised because th because this is the first time, this is not the first time a deadly officer involved shooting has happened in Nashville. Last year, the shooting of Jacques Clemens resulted in no charges, but this time a Metro officer is facing a criminal homicide charge. 25 year old Daniel Hambrick was shot and killed by Officer Andrew Delkey back in July. Theta Murphy with Oversight Now says with today's charges against Delkey, she's encouraged by the DA's accountability. She hopes this brings some comfort to Hambrick's family. It's the beginning of a process which can be derailed at any point, and we know this. So going before the magistrate and the magistrate throwing out the charges, that's just the first attempt to derail. Earlier today, the ACLU of Tennessee released a statement about today's indictment. It reads in part, the officer of the arrest of Officer Delkey for killing of Daniel Hambrick is a crucial first step in setting the wheels of accountability and justice in motion. Officer Delkey must receive due process during the proceedings. And Murphy also mentioned that in this entire case is another reason why the community should vote for the Community Oversight Board in November to keep officers accountable. For now, that is the very latest in Nashville. Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.